Hello viewers, welcome to my class. In this class, we are going to study how to calculate the refractive index of the glass prism using ID curve. How to draw the angle of incident, angle of incident and angle of deviation curve. To do this activity, the materials needed, a drawing board, this is the drawing board, actually I am using the thermocol sheet as the drawing board, next white paper, white paper, triangular glass prism, see this, this is the triangular glass prism see these two are the refracting surfaces you can use any one as the refract any two as the refracting surfaces and the other ones also as the base next this equilateral triangular prism has two triangular surfaces and three rectangular surfaces these rectangular surfaces serves as the refracting surfaces the angle between any two rectangular refracting surface is 60 degrees. Observe this one here. The angle is 60 degrees. So, the angle of the prism is 60 degrees. Next. Push pins. These are the push pins. And pencil. scale and protractor these are the materials needed to conduct this experiment before starting the experiment pick the white papers to the drawing board with the help of the push pins with the help of the push pins so that the paper do not move to anywhere that is the position of the paper is fixed on the drawing board see this one i am fixing see this now i fixed the drawing paper Keep the triangular prism on the paper with the help of the pencil trace the boundary of the triangular prism. Name the three vertices as A. B and C. ABC represents the base of the prism. See this. So, AB is one refracting surface and AC is another refracting surface and BC is the base here. So, this one has one, one of the refracting surface and this is the another refracting surface. The light ray which falls on AB gets refracted into the prism and emerges out from the side AC. Okay. Now, mark a point on AB which shows the point of incidence, the point of incident. Let it be M, now at the point M with the help of the protractor, draw the normal, that is 90 degrees. 
So, at point M, I have drawn the normal. Now, draw a ray, incident ray, making an angle of 50 degrees with the normal, 50 degrees with the normal, observe this one, see, 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, 40 degrees, 50 degrees, this is 50 degrees, see this one. Fix two pins on this incident ray. Now, once again, you keep the triangular prism on the boundary, keep the triangular prism on the boundary already drawn, take two more pins to locate the emergent ray that is coming out from this refracting surface. For that one, observing the two pins which represents the incident ray, fix two more pins, fix two more pins such that all the four pins are in straight line, all the four pins are in straight line, observe this. Now remove the prism and remove the pins, mark the points. and you also remove these two pins also join these pins these points with the help of the scale join this with the help of the scale now name the points as this is p and this one is q and this is R and this one is S. PQ represents incident ray and RS represents emergent ray and mark a point on the prism as N where the extended emergent ray strikes the surface AC. At that point, at that point, we have to draw the normal. I have drawn normal at point N. Now, join MN. MN represents refracted ray within the prism. This MN represents refracted ray within the prism. Observe this one once again. PQ represents the incident ray and MN represents the refracted ray and RS represents emergent ray. Now, extend the incident ray in forward direction. Extend the incident ray in the forward direction and the emergent ray in the backward direction. These two extended rays meet at this point. An angle is formed here. This angle is known as angle of deviation. Angle of deviation. Let us measure 
द एंगल ऑफ डिविएशन विथ द हेल्प ऑफ द प्रोट्रैक्टर लेट एस फाइंड द एंगल ऑफ डिविएशन दिस इज टेन डिग्रीज ट्वेंटी डिग्रीज थर्टी डिग्रीज दिस इज आप जो दिस वन दिस इज एग्जैक्टली फोर्टी टू डिग्रीज एंगल ऑफ डिविएशन इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी टू डिग्रीज For the angle of incident fifty degrees, the angle of deviation is forty two degrees. Now, also measure the angle of emergent. This is the angle of emergent. Let us try to measure this angle also. See this one: ten degrees, twenty degrees, thirty degrees, forty. This one is exactly fifty three degrees. Abdul, this one. Abdul, this fifty three degrees. This is fifty-three degrees. Okay, for the angle of incident fifty degrees, the angle of emergent is fifty-three degrees, and angle of deviation is forty-two degrees. So, for different angles of the incident, write down the angles of deviation. These are the practical values of angle of deviation for different angles of incident. For thirty degrees, it is practically found forty-five degrees. For thirty-five degrees, it is forty degrees, and for forty degrees, it is forty-six degrees. For forty-five degrees, it is forty-three degrees. For fifty degrees, it is forty-two degrees. Now, we have to flat the graph, taking angle of incident on x-axis and angle of deviation on y-axis. Take a graph paper. See this one. Take a graph paper, and for different angles of the incident, and for you have to plot the graph for angle of different angles of incident and angles of deviation. So you will get a curve like this. See this one. I marked all the points. See this one. This is the. free hand curve this is the free hand curve of the this one for different values of the angle of incident you mark the point of angle of deviation on y axis you will get a curve like this so the angle of minimum deviation using the graph is equal to observe this one the angle of minimum deviation is 40 degrees the angle of minimum deviation dm is equal to dm stands for angle of minimum deviation observe this carefully this is angle of minimum deviation is 40 degrees for a angle of incident how much 35 degrees so angle of minimum deviation is 40 degrees for a angle of incident 35 degrees so observe this values also for 35 degrees what is the angle of deviation we got 40 degrees on graph paper also you got the same value okay so the angle of minimum deviation is how many degrees 40 degrees the refractive index of the glass prism is found with the help of the formula mu is equal to sin a plus dm by 2 by sin a by 2 where a stands for angle of the prism that is 60 degrees angle of minimum deviation is 40 degrees okay so by substituting the values in the formula You got sin 50 divided by sin 30. Let us find the value of sin 50 using logarithm. The value of sin 50 is 0.766, and sin 30 is 1 by 2. So, so, if you substitute the values, the value of sin 50 divided by sin 30 is 0.766 divided by 1 by 2. its value is equal to 1.532 it is nearly equal to 1.5 so the refractive index of this glass prism is 1.5 how much 1.5 thank you children if you like this video do subscribe to my channel 
and share among your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to watch further practical classes. Thank you.